Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Noble Dude Master of Pharaoh. Sorry I haven't been online in forever and uploaded a video in forever, but I was extremely busy with school, but now I have time to upload videos and my goal is going to be to try and upload two to three videos a week for the next month and a half to two months. So we'll see how things go after that. But jumping right into things, I know one of you guys, or many of you guys actually inboxed me and said, yo, use quilt forts. I love quilt forts. So I made one reluctantly. I don't, I'm not a big fan of quilt fort decks, but you shall ask and ye, sh ye, ye shall receive. So we'll, we'll go ahead and duel with this deck. Now, I haven't played with this deck too much. I played once or twice or maybe three times at the most. So I'm not too sure with all the rulings and like the best place possible, but I think I have a general understanding of what to do. And it seems like this deck is just very aggressive and pushing for an OTK on your first turn. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try and play super aggressive and just go for a one turn OTK or two turn um, kill. Okay, it's still destroyed. That card is still destroyed. I completely forgot about artifacts. I didn't realize that many people still play artifacts. Reveal Foresight. Alright, cool. Now I don't like asking the people question, I want to give them benefit of the doubt, but it's always, it's always good just to ask them and make sure that's the right card. So I'm guessing that's Firehand. He's playing Artifacts. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Now, let's go for, let's go for Carrier, why not? And then we'll see if we can get into Sacrifolis, or however you want to pronounce it. Now guys, I will be going over the meta once the TCG ban list comes out, TCG OCG ban list comes out, but um, it's really iffy when it comes out in July, because they've never been really like consistent with the dates. So we'll see what happens. Whenever it comes out, I'll go over that and the new meta and what I think is good and whatnot and all that stuff. So now we're just going to go ahead and set this and then normal summon this and then attack and that might be Firehand. Oh, Spirit Reaper. Okay. That's an interesting choice. So it looks like he's playing kind of some kind of anti-meta troll deck. So... It's not that big of a deal. When we tribute carrier, we can get rid of Spirit Reaper. Or he can just... Hmm, that's a pain. Oops, meant to go back to extra. Not the grid. So we're gonna go ahead and lose 600. Yeah, so it looks like he's just playing an anti-meta negate everything with the artifacts. I could have used Phoenix Chain guys, but I'm just gonna save it for right now. And then we'll see what happens. And then we're gonna go ahead and use Scout's effect. And then we're gonna search for another monster. And then we can use uh I, yeah, we're gonna search for Helix. And then we're going to go ahead and use Summoner Art to search for Monolith. And then we're going to add in Special Summon. Now we're going to add in Pendulum Summon too. So Carrier and Helix. 
and then we're going to go ahead and go for stealth and then we get to return his monster to his hand uh, we get to destroy one of the spell trap cards and then return another spell trap card to his hand so and he can't negate he can't negate stealth because stealth is like super poly you can't react to any, anything so stealth you, you can't So its effect still goes out. So effect stealth. You can't! Do you not see it says you your opponent? It's an immediate effect. It's a trigger effect, it's upon summon. So he can't chain. Again, guys, I might be wrong, but I'm I'm pretty sure that's how stealth works. So you can't do that. So stealth, then helix, then um oh it's a carrier. So stealth, return to hand. Helix, destroy. And then we're going to use Carrier to return to his hand. So now it looks like... Now we might be thinking, oh, we wasted Phoenix Chain, but we got another Phoenix Chain, so surprise on him. And we get a free 2800 damage on him, and then we get uh, two cards to draw. And we know that card is Scythe, so unless he, he needs to destroy that with MST. So right now his options are very limited. He has... Phoenix Chain, and he has uh, that Vanity card, so he can't do anything right now. So he's just a sitting goose right now. And again, guys, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I Stealth was correct, how I used it. I don't think he could have responded because it's a trigger effect, so it activates upon activation like uh, like Tour Guide, or not Tour Guide, um, like, like Satellar Knight Vega or whatever. It's a trigger effect, so I think it would still get its effect. Um, Again, I could be wrong, so please correct me. I'm not too sure on how these ruins work, so I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, he can do that. That's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and activate Star Goblin, and then we're gonna use Scout and search for towers. <clears throat> now with towers, we should be set, guys. Now a lot of you guys seem to be complaining about towers and saying how overpowered it is. It's honestly not that overpowered. I mean, it's annoying. Okay, see, it's automatically GG. Like, he didn't even think about it. But if you have skill drain on the boat before Towers even hits the field, Towers is negated. You can get over with Cephalion. You can get over with Zombie Steam, Star Eater. And I think a lot of decks run Star Eater, so it's not that difficult to get over, guys. So anyways, and what we would have done is we would have Special Summoned, Carrier, and then Helix. And then we would have Tributed. We would have tributed, we would have tributed, we would have normal summoned, got rid of his monster in hand, used helix, and popped, uh, not scythe, we wouldn't have popped scythe, we would have popped this middle card, whatever that was, um, and then he would be stuck with nothing and just top decking, and then we would have drawn three cards in our end phase after setting skill drain, mirror force, and vanities, and, and then we, we had, oh my god, this stacked hand, guys, this is too good. But that's it. That's how easy it is to win with Quill Forts. It's very annoying. But I've beaten, you know, a couple of uh, Quill Fort decks with my Dark World. So now I'll show you guys the um, the deck profile for it. Uh, it's just something, it's nothing I invented. It's something I googled. Uh, you have three carriers, which basically are your normal summoning monsters. And if it's normal summoned without tributing, all of these bad boys go to 1800. So now basically this effect, if you're tributing for stealth with this card and uh, helix, this card returns a monster to your opponent's hand, so it'll create for getting rid of annoying synchros, fusions, whatever. Helix pops back row, stealth, we already saw it gets to return a card from the field to the hand, and they can't react to anything. Uh, I could be wrong guys, so please comment and tell me if I'm wrong on this, I don't want to look like a complete scrub. Disc lets you special summon two monsters from your deck, but they're destroyed in the end phase. 
Scout is their searcher, Monolith is your draw power. Tramp is very iffy, a lot of people don't like Tramp, but what Tramp does is you can normal summon it and then just bounce back Scout, and then you Scout again and search for another card. Summoner Art, I'm not even going over Towers guys, because you guys know what Towers does. Anybody who's played, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh somewhat competitively on Dueling Network or Dev Pro knows what it does. Three Summoner Arts as your searcher in case you have nothing, Heavy Ups Arts as your standard. Three MST standard. Duality, Searcher again. Sword of the Dawn is another iffy card, but it combos well into Sackle Fist to search out other cards. Laser, excuse me guys, Laser Quilt. So you can normal summon an additional monster and their normal summoning cannot be negated. Book of Moon, just as that one trolley card. Phoenix Chain is standard, stopping your opponent's cards. Mirror Force, Mirror Force is becoming more and more meta guys. I don't know what happened. I always liked Mirror Force. I said it would become meta, people didn't believe me. And now it's becoming more meta. Climate change, ha, huh? I see what you did at Konami with that climate. Anyways, uh, is that actually how you pronounce it? Is it just Cly? So that would make sense. So Cly Fort, Cl okay, that would make sense. Add three face up uh, Cly Pendulum monster cards from your extra to your hand. So great if you, uh, if Scout is destroyed and Helix is gone and Stealth is gone, boom, you have three cards back. Now, Rukolik, guys, is an amazing card. It's I think it's better than skill drain in some sense because if a card is on normal summoned and it's a level 4 or lower its effects are negated so boom instant 2400 beater if I normal summon helix and then chain ripple uh, also if it's a level 5 or higher monster and it's special summoned and it leaves the field it's banished so great for necros great for uh, ritual beasts great for just a lot of decks in general skill drain standard and vanity standard and then I have your standard roll extra decks. So you have Exciton, you have Ragnar Zero, you have Rhapsody, you have Abyss Roller, you have Bouncer, you have uh, Guy Thunder Charger or whatever. Yeah, that's I got it right. You have um, Gauntlet Launcher, you have Shogi Rook, and then you have uh, Master of Blades, you have Photon Dragon, you have Zombie Steam, you have Puppet Master, or Gimmick Puppet, uh, Fo uh, Galaxy Eyes, Tachyon Dragon, not Photon Cell Dragons. Hierarchic and Divine Dragon Felgrim. I don't even know what I just did there. I think I just flipped it around. So anyways guys, that's that's mainly it for this video. Like I said guys, also guys, thank you so much for helping my sub fan grace grow. It's grown exponentially. And considering the fact that I've only been uploading videos more and more in the last six months and that too inconsistently, to reach from like 10 subscribers all the way to 85, it's amazing. I love you guys. Please keep spreading the word and my videos if you like. If not, tell me what you didn't care for so too much. I'll take that into account and see if I can make my videos better and improve from there. Also guys, as a bonus thing, once I get to 100 subscribers, I will be giving away two copies of uh, Premium Gold Return of the Bling. I don't know how many of you guys collect Yugi cards or still need it, but I have two extra ones laying around from when my friend hooked me up. And when I re and how I'm going to give it away is, um, I have uh, my subscriber list, so I will be generating the names from there. And if you want, I uh, if you want to also uh, get a chance to win one, and you're not a subscriber, well, first of all, subscribe, duh. And if you don't want to, then just go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll leave a week window, and then whoever wants to. Uh, you know, win it. I'll put their names into a pool. Do I'll do a stream of it, and then whoever two names get generated from the random generator, they'll get it. So, main thing, guys, for this end of the mini video, main summary: more duels, uh, more consistent videos, more variety of videos like low-rated duelists, uh, free giveaway, two giveaways at 100 subscribers, and. Again, thank you guys. I love you guys. And until next time, guys, peace.